and the Shock have had all week to prepare for Vancouver. It's the last match of this week. Shock have had no other opponents. That's going to be, I think, a banger of a match. And Vancouver Titans, they may be overlooking the charge a little bit because Shock is going to be, I think, a very difficult opponent. Here we go, getting things started on Nepal. Vancouver Titans versus Kongjo Charge. We're going to start things off on Village here. And again, I, like you said, man, claiming you're going to 4-0 everybody right before you go into a week against the uh, Charge and against the Shock, I feel like you just clue, you just cue the Always Sunny in Philadelphia theme song there, and it's like, they 4-0 nobody. We'll see. Well, right now, you can see Vancouver cutting off one entrance with the DPS, and now they're going to rotate back to the point before the point unlocks. That happy. means that Hammond is not going to take the happy a, already happy with hype. the elimination. I'm believing the happy hype now. Twilight feeling it. With that headshot, Chara takes out Bumper here. And so far, so good for the charge as they move forward to try to retake this point. Titans did claim it early on. Can the charge turn these kills into a point flip, though? Yeah, they should be able to eventually, as long as Slime is going to go down here. Happy can't quite hit those shots, and they are going to get back onto the point now. So. Uh, they don't flip it though. They get close. Eileen takes a bumper, but they need just a little bit more, and I think they've got it now. Shu does go down. Uh, this is a great delay by the Titans. So I mean, 30, it is 30 percent for free when yeah. they effectively lost that first fight is just an incredible bonus for them. They'll be quite happy about that. Stitch already with the graviton surf. Ooh. And you oh, know, man, that would have been sick. Widowmaker isn't often played on this point because once you get on the objective itself, you don't have long sight lines, which means Happy has to intercept people before they even get there. That yeah. is, that's asking a lot of a Widowmaker when, you know, there's a speed boost on the opposite team. I mean, it shows you the confidence that not just you have in this guy, but the team does as well. They're counting on him to make the plays and he does finish off Bumper. There goes Stitch as well. Now Eileen coming in, his EMP is what set up a lot of that, of course, for the charge. Yeah, he also got nano boosted in that last engagement also. So Not in bad. the front line, dealing a ton of damage. Yeah. Wang Zhou looking very confident here. Indeed, they should. They've equalized the percentage. Now they're exceeding a little bit. Vancouver Titans trying to come from behind here on the first point of Nepal now. And Infrasight has been used. That makes Vancouver Titans approach that much more difficult. But Happy knows exactly where their supports are. Nano boost coming in onto Bumper as he dives towards the charge. Happy, meanwhile, in the back, trying to get behind the team and find those picks as Titans get on the point. Hotbo waiting for a chance to use that barrage. Happy does pick off Slime in the back lines. And here we go. Hotbo just waiting for it. Justice reigns for 90 degree angle, but Diva's right in your face. He got one. He was going to get taken up by his own rockets in the end there, like we see so often. But it is going to be Titans flipping the point regardless. And they flip the point to him, but they're still on the backside of this fight. But because they're so tanky, they can just sort of sit here and build that percent. Well, that's the thing. You can delay for so long with this composition, even if you are a couple players down. And that's what they're kind of counting on. Now, Charge comes in. Big on hack point. onto the Titans, so yep. they've got to back off. Point will flip over. This has already been a weird one. It sure has. Happy finds another one on the Stitch. So despite being continuously short-handed, the Titans hanging in it. Charge have the point right now, though. Up to about 75%. Now the kill's coming in in favor of the Titans. Happy has to retreat. Bumper just roasting through the minefield from Rio before eventually finishing him off. And the Titans will flip it back again. It's been so back and forth. Yeah, right. just a little bit of and stall now, there. there Sombra go. got onto it at the very end. So Eileen yep. hops on the point. Now Guangzhou is going to have to make that changeover. Question is if it's going to be too late with only about 30% remaining for the Titans before they have that overtime. Guangzhou wants to switch to the 3-3 or at least the 3-3 three, three. instead of the Diva, they get the uh, the Sombra instead. Janu sends in the self-destruct, no kills out of that one, but they do bottle up the charge in that room. Meanwhile, Stitch with the switch onto McCree. To try to get a few picks here of his own. All right, who tried to get the flashbang in over the Reinhardt shield, didn't quite land it in the right spot. Charge able to rotate through into that house. EMP. Can they get onto the point though? They gotta get there. 94, 95% now. Waiting for that EMP from Eileen, just like you said. Trying to get the hack onto Winston. That's what they're gonna do. Eileen charging in. He's got the sound barrier. Gets the EMP. Hacks three with that, I believe. Hacks five, in fact. Five? No, end. you're right. I can't count. Like I said, I studied art. Charge trying to turn this fight around though. We're into OT. Titans nearly have this point. They just have to last a little bit longer, but now the D-Mech comes in onto Janu. They're not done yet. 
And Guang looking grim. Guangzhou still going to keep pushing here. And the Deadeye needs I to dude. do something, but it's going to be super difficult. Nobody's even in those sight lines right oh. now. Just one, Chara. Uh, Chara tries to get aggressive. Forgot the high noon was still out there. So Charge does win the fight. They did flip it, 98, 99. No one's going to get back. Vancouver, I don't know. They got to try to get somebody there, and they don't. Charge barely pull it out at the end of Village. And that was with Titans getting a lot of, we'll call it free percent. Hey, that's right? what that comp is designed to do. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. They did. I mean, they got it. But ultimately, the charge came in with an innovative strategy and took it home. Gustav already. Map two or round two right after this. We are back on Nepal. Gonna move things over to Shrine now for our second round. Now, this was the point we thought we'd see a lot of Widowmaker on from Happy. We will, but we already got a strong dose of it in our first round here on Nepal. Yeah, this is the one of the best points, though, for Widowmaker play, and yeah. it's not gonna be the same level of challenge because now he can actually more easily shoot into the point, which means that it's less imperative that Guangzhou gets a pickoff before they even reach the objective. As the Widowmaker, you're tougher to assail, too, on the positions you can take on Shrine. Oh, yeah. yeah, a little bit safer. Oh, neither team played Zenyatta. Interesting. Hurts my heart as a Zen name, or a Zen main, but hey, you know, it works. Like the Ana, too. Looking for shots. Titan. Titan's trying to pick it up first here on Shrine. Happy not really finding much of anything right now. He has to avoid the Winston here as Bumper comes in. So Titans do take the point first, just like they did on Village. So Charge, again, has to find a way to swap it back. I mean, that was really well done by Bumper. He zoned out two nice supports start. and the Widow. Meanwhile, Rio was hit by an anti heal oh. <laughs> So they couldn't stay on the point, so the ticks oh, are no. over. Bumper's right back up, and he'll take out Shu. Wow, gets up there. Yeah, and kills Shu despite being slept and CC'd as well by the Hammond. A little bit surprised there. Rio does switch over to the Reinhardt now. Yeah, I think he realized the Hammond's not going to be an option here, and Hotba also going to make the transition. So they will go back straight to a normal 3-3 with Happy on the Brigitte. Yep. And Eileen on the Sombra. So not their normal roles. Happy usually plays the Zarya, and Eileen the Brigitte. Well, Nano boost on the bumper, doing a ton of damage here, getting that Primal Rage, deciding to save it here. Why not, though? You're zoning out the team. You're getting that percentage. You can play the long game if you're Vancouver right now. They're near 50 already. Yeah, B from Eileen gets two on the Vancouver's Titan side. Charge going in anyway with that. Shu waiting, uses that nano boost in there. Ooh, trying to keep Rio alive. It was so close, he nearly went down, but I think that extra damage reduction on the nano boost oh. helping him out there. Misses his charge. No kills out of that. And Guangzhou uses a lot on that approach and doesn't really get much out of it. I mean, they use the Nano just to keep him alive, right? Shu actually will take down okay. Bumper finally with the help of that sound barrier, so they're coming right. back in. Yep, another chance. Hawks all down, and this is looking a little bit better for Guangzhou Charge. Yeah, that works out. Well, so they will finally take it, but they've given up 77% already. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, Vancouver really didn't use any ults right there. Guangzhou had to pour everything they had to survive that engagement. Maybe they could make it happen if Eileen can get enough charge before the Vancouver Titans approach this point. But it's going to be very challenging. I mean, they've been playing around bumper, zoning off Happy so well on the Widowmaker, and that's given them the big edge. Here we go again. Ooh, wow, bumper jumping right into the Graviton Surge. Titans are going to drop the sound barrier, though. Ooh, and that's another grab on their side. They're going to get Happy in that self-destruct. A little, little bit of a knockup, but so many members were of charge were low health already that you know, that was kind of an inevitable conclusion to that fight. I mean, what do you say? Like, you don't have a lot to to work with there. You yeah. don't have a trance. You don't have a beat to try and fend off some of that damage. Makes it very hard to survive the Graviton Surge. So Charge need to make something happen right now. Rally, use, Nano Boost use on the Titan side. They're going to power up Bumper again. Bumper, though, CC'd, taken down. Charge have a chance to flip it right here. Really good chance, actually. Taking out Bumper first. You waiting for it. That's a good grenade. 
Forrest gonna get that extra heal in here. Charge nearly has it flipped. They've got it now. Okay, so staving off defeat on this round for the moment. Couple kills on the way out. Stitch gets killed by that fire strike. They're gonna keep chasing here. There goes Bumper. So, as Titans get ready for the respawn and the regroup, Charge with a really good chance here. They're up to about 50% themselves, so it's, it's not that bad, really. No, it's definitely not that bad right now. And Titans, uh, they had their entire ult economy reset, but they've got about two good fights left in them. But this is most likely going to go to a 99-99 overtime scenario. And it's about what they can force on this fight. How much time are they going to take on this approach? They need to move quickly. Their choices are poke for ult now or commit now. They're going to commit now. Yeah, I think you want to win that fight. One fight is a one round here. Bumper gets slept immediately. Shu with another great sleep dart here. As that Nanabu's waiting in the weeds too. He's going to use it onto Rio. Waiting for it, charging right through. Ooh, he gets a Reinhardt. Shield is out of the way, and that's free and clear damage coming in on the Titans. 80% now. There's a reset for the Titans. They got to scramble to get back. Yeah, but what Guanto's going to do is they're going to try and EMP them in the choke, so yep. they can't actually fight because they know Stitch is close, very close to that Graviton surge. Eileen needs to hit this EMP. Oh, he's going to. No stopping this guy. He gets four with it. Bumper down immediately after that. Reinhardt swap charge, charging back in onto the Titans. They're not even going to get to the point, and Kwong Jo Charge will win it 2 0. Well, the prophecy of Bumper has <laughs> already failed. Uh, I don't know. Claim you're going to 4 0 everyone, immediately lose the next map. <laughs> Feels bad. Unlucky. Man. That's, uh, that's, that's a rough one, guys. Well, Charge taking map number one, a lot more coming up right after this. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7 and by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.